Hey, we've brainstormed this video today to bring to you and highlight the importance of momentum, whether you're a buyer, whether you're a seller or an agent in not just the Dubai real estate market, but any market anywhere in the world, okay? This can pretty much apply to not just real estate as well, it can apply to anything that you might be pursuing in your life. Look, if you wanna catch the right momentum, the right wave, and you wanna buy the perfect property in Dubai, there is a link below, hit it, click it, let's talk. Me and my merry band of advisors can actually help you. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and bell icon. Show real fast. All right guys, welcome back. Look, what is it about momentum that if you have it, you feel like you're on the top, on top of the world. And if somebody's lost momentum, then they feel that everything in the world is against them. And no matter what they do, they just can't come up on that. Have you ever felt like that? I'd love to hear from you in the comment section. Tell me if what I'm saying makes sense and share any of the ideas, tips and tricks that you generally use to overcome negative momentum, okay? Let's talk a little bit about positive momentum and what it can actually do when you actually apply this principle in your life. Let's go a little bit back to some foundational principles for you to understand clearly what I mean, okay? Let's imagine this is a set of six or seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dominoes, okay? Now, obviously you've probably heard this example before. If you want domino number seven to fall, generally speaking, it's going to be super, super easy. If you just trip domino number one onto two, two shall go onto three, three shall go onto four, five, six, and seven. And the total force of these six dominoes is going to be so large that domino number seven, or domino is just a metaphor, it could be anything in your life, domino number seven is going to have no choice but to fall, okay? Right, Gino? Now, here's what I'm trying to tell you though. Let's say you got one to trip two, two to make three fall, four to make five fall, but right at six, you broke momentum okay and you did not go forward guess what if you restart from six you're not gonna have enough inertia enough energy to have seven then collapse and instead not just six going into seven would collapse you're going to have to go again all the way to the bottom and start again from one two three four five six okay now here's the kicker this applies to real estate as well because momentum actually helps you get to where you want to. Let's talk about if you're a buyer, how does positive momentum going forward assist you, okay? Especially if you're a buyer, seller, or an agent. Look, generally speaking, as a buyer, you should have a very good plan, a strategy before you go into the market. Then you go into the property or the prop selection phase. Now, Sometimes what happens, people will go into the prop selection phase in a very haphazard way, but if you go in, a, in this way with a plan, you're generally going to be able to start identifying and sometimes what happens is property number seven ticks the boxes or ticks all the boxes that make sense to you according to the plan you've made, okay? Now, if you go to one, two, three, four and stop over here, Guess what? You'll never get to that property that's gonna make sense in the entire uh, in the entire scheme of things. Same thing applies with negotiation. Okay, if you get to property number seven and move into negotiation, but take a break, guess what? You come back into the market two, three, four, five, six months, especially if it's a rising market. 
game is going to be different prices are going to be different the deal that you could have had before you probably might not be able to have now i'm going to make one exception i'm not going to always say that look you've got to move forward forward fast and keep growing the momentum if things aren't going your way sometimes you take a break and i'm going to give you two examples uh from the sports arena okay sometimes you'll see two teams playing together okay one team has the momentum but for some reason they let their guard down perhaps they're in a winning position and they just assume that they're going to win and they've now started taking the rest of the game really lazily relaxed whereas the other team starts taking it more seriously and they build momentum to overcome the other team and end up winning now in these scenarios you've actually seen teams take a timeout and they regroup to then go back forward so if momentum's not going in your favor for instance I gave you this example but let's assume you've seen property 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 30 14 15 and over here things weren't working out and over here things weren't working out you know what it's okay take a break go back to the planning stage make sense right you don't need to keep pushing forward because obviously the direction you're going in is incorrect you've got to know that the direction's correct to gain speed and momentum but if the direction is wrong then you shouldn't be going forward does that make sense right same thing applies to sellers the first thing that the sellers should do is you've got a price with the momentum of the market. If prices are going up, it's okay if current market price is here, but you price your property here because the market's going up, so you're going with the momentum. But if the market's falling down and your current market price is here, you've got to price it further down a little bit so you can sell your property. But what if you don't do this and if the market's going downwards and your price is here but you're pricing it over here guess what you're going to be chasing the market and you'll end up get making less money in the longer term same thing applies to marketing right when you're marketing your property you've got to market your property with a blitz okay like you've got to like go all out it's kind of like when Apple launches the iPhone, right? iPhone 14 has got mixed reviews. They kind of like gone quiet on it, but it's kind of like when you launch this new product or when Samsung launched the Fold, you've got to let the entire world know that I've got this property for sale. That's what agents are supposed to do, okay? Last but not the least, I'm gonna talk about agents, okay? Where? Let's just talk here, okay? As agents, your number one job is to be generating leads for yourself and your business in the most positive way you should be generating 10 leads a day if you're not doing that you're going to be losing momentum and you're going to actually suffer three months later down the road so you got to be generating leads every single day 10 minimum for yourself because if you do that you're going to be in a successful position so just to summarize look Take advantage of the momentum that builds up because with momentum, what you can do with domino number seven is not the same without momentum. Without momentum, you would not be able to push through bigger obstacles, bigger challenges and go out there and achieve what it is that you want to achieve. Now, again, caveat, if you're gaining negative momentum take a break time out regroup with your mentor your coach your personal situation and then go forward again all right hope this makes sense if you want to work with me and my merry team of expert advisors hit the link below we're more than happy to talk to you work with you don't forget to hit the like subscribe and bell icon oh by the way put some comments show some love bye hey guys thank you for watching the video i hope you liked it my name is Fahd Daud. i've been doing this for 15 plus years i started in uh, toronto canada in 2006 and since 2007 i've been based in dubai and doing real estate in dubai look if you're looking to work with me there's a form below and my mobile number i do paid consulting you can also uh, get help for uh, from my team for services if you like the video press the like button press the subscribe and the bell icon and share it with uh, your friends who you feel would be able to benefit from the content of this video last but not the least i'll repeat me and my team's role is always going to be to help 
and select the best property for you. Your role will be to invest in that property and we will in turn invest in your life and your future. Bye for now.